and I can take five songs right now if I still listen to rap or gave a shit about BET, pull them up, and I can guarantee you each one of those songs say, bitch, or money, bling, drugs, or something related to that. I like people who like Insane Clown Posse because they're different. I like Tech Nine because he's different. I like, uh, what's it called? Taleb Kualib. I like uh, Most Def, Danger Doom, or uh, what's it called? MF Doom, I- I- either one. Anyone who can actually make me think, help, Flowbots, I'll even listen to them. And I'm okay. done. Wu Tang Clan? Oh, hell yes. Wu Tang Clan? I mean, there's, there's, there's Wu Tang Clan, there's, uh, there's fucking The Raz, there's. Um, God, who else? There? Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre. I mean, I've definitely loved Snoop Dogg back in the day. I mean, I mean, the Dog Pound. That was one of my favorite rap albums. And I'll, even Dr. Dre too. And yeah. uh, God, there's so many. I mean, art. I mean, rap from the '90s was was great. But just rap nowadays, I don't even pay attention to any of it anymore. It's just it's just garbage. It's just garbage to me. Digital Pl- uh, Underground Planet or Digital Planet? I can't remember. Uh, it's because I'm smooth like that. One of the best rap songs ever made. Yeah. Soldier Boy can suck a dick. Soldier Boy's a little bitch. Yeah, he's a little fucking bitch. Yeah. And because of him, they started the crank that video, or the crank that phase. <laughs> I remember, the fuck like, that is. I don't know if you find this funny, Steve, but they made, I saw this picture on ED. It said, okay, you're going to hate me for this, but it said crank that cotton gin. <laughs> No, dude. If that's that's cool, because Ed Ed is okay. It can take it a bit far, but I mean, for the most part, it's pretty damn funny. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ed has its really funny moments. Ed. Yeah, then they also have the really bad Encyclopedia like Dramatica. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I just wonder what you were talking about there for a second. Ed. <laughs> Cause they will rip. They rip into furries like freaking cotton, like, freaking uh, construction paper. And I can laugh at that, but then when they start throwing around the end word, I get a little bit testy. That's just yeah. me. Yeah. Hmm. Eh, I'm pretty much by, I don't really care about racism anymore. I don't either. It's it's it's, it's like a, it's you figure by now it either it either died down quite a bit or it's it's um, it's gone completely. But it's pro- it's really never going to go away. It's there's you're still going to have some racist people there, and especially people in the South that that uh, fly their 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 uh, their flag. Uh, I think it's what is it the Union Jack? That not the Union Jack, but the uh, Confederacy. The, uh, the, yep, the other one. And uh, no, that, that's it because the Union was the was the North. Yeah. Yep. But uh, yeah, you'll still run into some really racist motherfuckers, and it's 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 really it's really annoying. It's, you know. Well, I'm from I'm from down south. I'm from Florida, and like I'm like right like ten minutes away from the Georgia border. I I've known people from all over the south, and for the most part, it's actually pretty well died down. It's just the older people let it let it burn up and let it get hot and let it get heated and let it uh, what's it called gets out of hand. Oh yeah. Yeah, you'll still get a lot. You'll still get a lot of uh, a lot older people just just really still having that that old mentality. It's like, you know, I'm gonna I, I hate this this certain race. I hate this certain color person. It's like I'm gonna I'm gonna just just say this word, say that word, blah blah blah. Say I'm gonna say the n word. I'm gonna say this. You know, it's like a damn damn bleep. It's I don't want to say it, but it's just those kind of people. Yeah, they're still around. I'm yeah, that's sick. It is. So let's see. What else should we bitch about? Gorgamesh. Uh. Oh yeah. I, um. I had. Uh, I did a video a, a little, a little bit back, a little bit further back, a little while back. Um. About the music industry. What? What do you? Um. What are you guys' thoughts on the music industry? Uh. I only have a little bit to say on them. Basically, that they ruin music by so, by enforcing copyright infringement laws that. Don't, that affect people who aren't selling the music and trying to steal from them. They're just trying to listen to it and enjoy it. How many people out there have actually bought a CD and had your computer go to the blue, blue screen of death because of you bought your CD, put it in your uh, computer, and thought you were trying to burn it? Yeah. It's like I, it's like I, I just, I just quit buying CDs. It's like um, I, I hated having to go to the store, and, and since I found iTunes, it's like, it's like you know, I'm, I'm not going to buy a CD anymore. And if, and if I can't find the album on iTunes, I'll go into a store and buy it. I mean, it's like I bought my uh, Tool albums. I bought the albums by Tool. I didn't find it on, I couldn't find it on iTunes. I went into Best Buy and they had all four of them. They had all their albums at the time, and uh, 
I can understand some artists not wanting to put their albums on online and still wanting them to, us to do the old fashioned way, you know, go to the store, pick up an album, pick up a CD and buy it that way. But uh it's it's like going the way of the uh, of it, it's like going the way of the of, of Betamax and VHS and a lot of technologies just going away of that. Yeah, true. Mm. Eh, I'm kind of a I don't know I I do illegally download I admit it but I usually get it legally. I try to do that too. I mean, I, I try to uh, avoid LimeWire now. I mean, I I did use it a, quite a bit. I mean, I found a lot of videos on there. I found my porn on there too. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I did find. I would find songs on there that I couldn't find anywhere else. But now, since I found iTunes, I've just been using that. Uh, and uh, mm, anything else you want to talk about, guys? Um, what do you th- what do you think about the, the the current music? What do you think about like you know like the rap and the rock and the metal and all those genres? What what do you th- are you think any of them are any good or just you know just um like just just churn it out like Jonas Brothers and all that bullshit? Most of it's just terrible in my opinion. Yeah, I mean I said in my video it's yeah go ahead. For me it's basically it's become quite boring. I mean a lot of like the stuff we grew up with. Like like the old school rap and the old school rock and some of the even some pop rock that I actually like like the Spin Doctors, like mm. them. But though for the most part, it's not even entertaining anymore because that that rap has invaded rock in some aspect. It's basically just again like objectifying women and stuff like that. <clears throat> Bands like Saliva, I still I still like them. Saliva, and Nickelback, any of them from the '90s, they're still respectable. But everyone else coming in, either. Is respectable, but doesn't get the airplay like Yellow Card. I thought I thought they were really really good, but got pushed off to the side for bands like uh, what's it called, like the Jonas Brothers and everyone else coming up, who really weren't important enough that should have even gotten a contract. And now Anna, that Tana, oh God, she can suck. She I don't care what she does, as long as she just goes away. Exactly. Yeah. What's it called? And it's really hard to see even some rap people that I like vanished off the face of the earth. Nappy Roots. Nappy Roots. I think I've heard of Nappy Roots, and I've definitely heard of Yellow Card, too. I've heard of Yellow Card, and I think I've heard one, two songs, and they're not that bad. Yeah, and then they vanish. But yeah. those bands, uh, like, what's it called? Fall Out Boy, who I do like some of their songs, but though for the most part, no. Uh, I, I, I don't mind, I mean, I'm getting a lot of good people bashing me, too, and are bashing us, but I like some of some Fall Out Boy songs, but I just don't really care for the band, personally. I mean, I like some of their songs. They're catchy, and they're cool, but, you know, hey. You guys, you guys with your comments can bash me all you want, but I, I don't mind them. Yeah. <laughs> eh, no, I don't like them either. I'm sorry. Yeah. But I mean, thing is that you really can't, you really can't get around popular popular opinion because you can yell all day, all night that uh, what's it called? Uh, Lucina Coil is a damn good band, but they'll never get the kind of screenplay that uh, bands like uh, what's it called? Some Forty One, who's gotten all fucking preachy now, are rise against. They're going to get more airplay than any of those bands that we that you will actually like because that they're just more popular amongst young people. Yeah, I mean, I listen to Lacuna Coil. They're not that bad. I mean, I've I played some of their songs in rock band and they're they're pretty damn cool. And uh, I mean, there's there's uh, there's a couple there's uh, uh, I can't remember the names of them, but they're in rock band and I played them and they're they're pretty damn good. Especially the singer, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Christine Christana Scabia. She's really good. And pretty too. Oh yeah. Date, I mean, she's also dating J- Jim Root from Slipknot. Uh, oh, damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's tapping that, man. It's like, There's oh, I'm many- jealous. <laughs> There's so many questions you'd want to ask both of them about some shit like that. I mean, it's, I don't even, uh, it's just some weird shit that crosses one's mind. What's that? Like, do they, like, when they get to that point, do they sound like they do when they're singing? Huh. Uh... <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Because if that's the case, then like, what's it called? I'd like to get the. Um, I like to get either Gwen Stefani. I don't like her, but I, but the, I just want to see if it happens. That or like some opera singer chick. Huh. Like, ah! There is one that's uh, Charlotte Church. She's uh, she's actually pretty damn fine, and, and she's uh, she's actually an opera singer herself. Definitely look her up. She's uh, pretty cute. Hmm. Anything else to go for, guys? 
there's one last thing I can think of. Reality shows. What do you guys think of those? I mean, anything in particular. Um, I I really stopped watching reality shows. I mean, I used to watch Road, Road Rules back in the day in the real world and on, on MTV. Oh, that's another topic, MTV. When, Terrible. It's, they can go to hell, all of them. Fucking MTV. MTV fucking sucks nowadays. You might have watched MTV the 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 late eighties, the nineties, and just it's like what the fuck has happened to them? It's they just basically I just think they just sold out the worst way. And uh, reality, definitely, yeah, definitely getting back on topic on reality shows. It's like I watch some of them. I mean, I watch I watch stuff on the Discovery Channel. I mean, I watch stuff on A and E. But far as like, far as I I'm concerned, they they suck balls. It's, it's like the same shit. They're just trying to think up a new concept or something like that. It's the same thing every time. And uh, there's also Keeping Up with the Kardashians. There's... Uh, Flavor of Love. 